Hello and welcome to Thursdays with Annette. I'm in the kitchen, of course, and I'm going to be making you a favourite from book one. This is a recipe when you have no time at all, but you want something fabulous, then this is the recipe to go to. It is the chicken in a hurry because it is one of those recipes that if you're in a hurry, you can make a fabulous meal in minutes. Now, this is a great recipe and I'm sure if you haven't made it, by the end of the show, you'll be putting it on your list. So what do we need for this recipe? So we need 500 grams of frozen vegetables. Now, this, remember the whole thing about this is simple, easy, quick. Now I've used the frozen mix of beans, corn, carrot, and uh, peas. So you can, you know, like I like the smaller vegetables for this, not the big chunks of broccoli and things like that. So that's what I'm using here, 500 grams. I always have a packet of them in the freezer, so I've got to go to. You need one onion and we dice it. And basically that's the only um, thing that I've got to dice apart from the chicken. So we want half a teaspoon of dried basil. We've got one and a half cups of skim milk, three sachets of cream of chicken cup of soup. Now, if you've got the old book, it's a chicken and vegetable cup of soup, but they discontinue that. So just make a note that this is the new one, or the one that we've been using for quite a while, actually. So cream of chicken cup of soup, three of them. And of course, your barbecue chook. All right, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna chop up my onion and get it going. So thanks for joining me today because this is a recipe that is always on speed dial in our house when we have no time to cook. And even if you have got time to cook, you might just want to have an easy dinner and away you go. All I have to do is chop up the onion. Now you can use fresh vegetables if you want, but that defeats the purpose of it being in a hurry. So if you do that, then 500 grams of small diced vegetables. I just love using this for when you really want something quick and fabulous. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the onion into my wok. Now you probably could use a, a big pot if you wanted, um, but I'm using the wok because I, I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna turn it up. I'm gonna put in the 500 grams of frozen vegetables. Let's just give that a mix up. And then you add boiling water. Now I did boil it just before I came on air, so I'm gonna just give it another boost. And what you do is you cover the vegetables with boiling water. There we go, they're covered. Now the reason I'm using the boiled water is because I'm all about, I'm in a hurry, remember? So I want this done quick and easy. So there is our vegetables and it will cook. Now you do drain it off at the end, um, but you'll do this once it's boiled, it goes for five minutes. Um, so there, let me get rid of these in my soapy sink. All right, so let's get that happening. Because the vegetables are frozen and they're cold, that sort of drops the water temperature down a bit. But the key is that, um, and this is something you've got to remember, okay? And I'll remind you as we go into the uh, later part of it, but you will want to keep a little bit of the stock water. Now it says it in the recipe, so it's not a problem. It says when you drain it, or I strain it, I keep about half a cup of the stock water in case I'm finding the sauce gets too thick. Because if you make it in the morning and you want it in the afternoon, you might find that that's what's happened in, in the process of it. So, um, actually I might have a bit too much water in there. Let me just take a little bit out. I was a bit generous with the water, I think. There we go. Because you just want to cover it. Yeah, that's better. Now I've got over here my strainer ready to go. And I've also got the 
measure cup, the glass one, to measure the water because I don't want to forget about it and just strain it and lose all that beautiful water. You know, you might not need it, but we'll see how you go. All right, so now what we're going to do next is we're going to um, do the chook. Now, my tip here is that I have got this at the end of the day yesterday because I knew I was making it today and I got it on special. That's right. You know, at the end of the day, they reduce the chooks down. But what I've also done in the past is I've um, bought when they're on special and froze it. And then I've always got in there, and I, I do what I'm going to do now, put in a bag in the freezer, so I've got the vegetables in the freezer, yes, I've got the chicken in the freezer, I've always got an onion, and I always have these ingredients. So I can make a chicken in a hurry whenever I want. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. All right, so this is just starting to boil, so that's great. So we're going to debone... We're going to debone. Let me just put my timer on for five minutes because that's how long you want to cook the veggies for. Now, this is where you've got to be really brave, okay, because I'm going to tell you to do something that probably goes against all your grain. So what it is is you remove the skin. I know because this is where all the fat lies from the barbecue chook or any chook. And so by removing the skin, throw it out, don't put it in your mouth, okay? You save so much fat, it's incredible. Let me get this here. So I take the, all the breast off. I'm just gonna put it all in the bowl here. Yep, we don't want any bone in there. That wouldn't be very good, would it? And all the skin is not being used, as well as the stuffing. We're not going to use the stuffing either, okay? Don't forget, look for those bargain at the end of the day chicken. And I mean, I know that when it's hot, the skin is the best, but I tend to find that when I use it, it's, it's cold sort of thing, so it's not so tempting. But for example, if you do what I'm telling you to do and not use the skin and you don't use the stuffing, instead of it being for a whole chook about 85 grams of fat, it drops down to like 20, 25. So this is where you can make a huge difference to the fat count of this recipe. All right, so I'm getting all that skin off. Goodbye, skin. Do not come into my mouth. <laughs> Take all the flesh off the bone. And then what you do is you're going to dice it up into you know, bite-sized pieces. Get that skin off. Now, if you're interested, I also have a couple of other versions of this in a hurry. So you've got this one in book one, which is the original creation, the chicken in a hurry. Then in book five, I went back again, because I could, and I made curry in the hurry. So these are always using a barbecue chook, all right? And then when I just recently launched the more cooking for one or two, I thought, you know what, I'm going there, and I did a Thai curry in a hurry. Yeah, and it's awesome. But it's only for two people. So you use ha uh, like just a bit under half a chalk. I'm not even going to use the wings because they are just mainly just all skin. There's not much to them. Have I missed any flesh? Let me see here. This is enough for four people. Have I got the little... What do they call those little things at the back, Bill? Oyster. Yes, I've got the oyster out. All right, so I'm going to throw this in the bin and wash my hands. All right. Oh, how are we going here? Fantastic. Now, the thing with the chicken is we're going to dice it now. So let's tip it all out. 
So all you have to do is chop up an onion, deflesh, debone, hello bone, you sneaky little thing, and then just chop that up. That is all you have to do. So how fun is this recipe? Now you could actually, if you wanted to, like make your own, cook your own chicken because you don't want to do a barbecued one, then just think about the size of what a, a barbecue chook is and that's the size of chicken that you would roast. Okay, so there's all my chopped up chicken there. Making sure there's no bone in there or I'd get sacked. <laughs> and now we've got our chicken breast. Now this is such an easy recipe and I think that, um, oh, there's my five minute timer. Let me just turn that off. So I'll just come back to that because I'm going to go to the sink and strain this. There we go. I'm going to just put that there. I'm going to lift it out. Get that water off and just leave it to one side. And this is where I'm going to pour around about half a cup of the liquid, just in case I need it. All right. Now, you, you can serve it, I think, with um, rice would be nice, pasta, or even some potatoes, like maybe mashed potato might be nice, up to you. I'm just going to wash my hands again. But don't forget to save the dollars. When you see the chooks on special and they're reduced, that's when you buy one or two. What you do then is you do what I did. You take the skin off, take it off the bone, and you can even chop it, and then put this into a freezer bag, and that's it, right on it, chicken in a hurry, so you know what you're going to use it for. All right, that's sinking over there. Let's make up the sauce. So in here, I'm going to add in the three sachets of the chicken cup of soup, cream of chicken cup of soup. So they go in the milk. And this is where you get your lovely sauce. It's like flavoursome. It's, uh, it, it has a thickness to it from the soup. And I just love the simplicity of it. But it still feels, I feel still like I'm cooking something, which then makes me feel good that I'm not, um, you know, making something that's, or getting a takeaway because I haven't got time. Let's put in uh, some basil. We want a half a teaspoon of the dried basil. Now, if you don't like the basil, you can always put in another dried herb. You know, rosemary would be fantastic. Um, like, gosh, anything that goes well with chicken. There we go. So I'm going to pour this into the pan. There we go. Turn it back on. Tarragon would be another really nice herb in this. Oh, yes, it would. Let me get rid of this. I'm going to pop the chook in because we don't have to wait for it to boil. Hey, splatter that everywhere. Turn that up a little bit. Now, I'm going to just give that a little minute just to develop and then um, what I'm going to do is add in my frozen veggies. So you can see this is one of those go-to recipes and it's out of a fantastic book. Number one, if you haven't got it, it's like the, the start of everything. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> All right, here we go. 
Now, because it uses a barbecue chook, it's still got a little bit of fat to it. It's 13.3 grams of fat a serve. Um, but that's okay because it's got everything you want in it. It's got a complete meal. You've got your um, beautiful protein, your vegetables, and then when you add your carbohydrate to it, you've got a banging dish, that's for sure. All right. Now, if you want to win book one, if you haven't got it, I mean, where have you been? It's been going for like 100 years. <laughs> You can win book one by just doing this. You like, you share, and then in the comments, that's what you've got to do. Hashtag simply too good. Remember, it's the two, it's the why. Hashtag simply too good, and I will pick three fabulous winners to get a person signed copy of book one. Now, a lady just recently. Um, it was, I think, book three, and she said, oh, I've got book three, but I don't have book five. And I really don't mind what book you get. It's up to you. But I'm saying book one because this is the recipe that I'm making. Now, as I'm looking at this, I feel it's a bit thick. I'm adding some more liquid in. That's what you've got it there for, because you can. Yes. So, you know, don't forget to do that. Oh, that's looking good. A little bit more maybe there we go now once this is boiled and everything's hot you're ready to serve dinner so I would be you know making sure that you cook uh, may, maybe boil get your rice maker out you know early you know, before you start cooking because really it only takes about 10 minutes all up to make this isn't it fantastic look at that Chicken in a hurry, yes. Oh, next week's show, I'm very excited because I'm making a, a recipe. I don't think I've been made on the show before. Why not? I have no idea. But it's from book four and also more cooking one or two. So what that means is it's a, a big dish and a little dish. So you have a, cho a choice of either books and it is my Eastern lamb. Oh my gosh, do you know what I love about it the most? It has pumpkin in it. I'm obsessed with recipes that have pumpkin in it. All right, so this is done. Let's serve it up. Oh, I've got stuff in the bowl. Here we go. You ready to have a look? Look at this. Chicken in a hurry. This is for four people, so it's you can see it's a really generous serve. And where's my whisk? Do you know what I love about this wok? Look at that. It comes clean away. Nothing has stuck to it. It's just, see how, it, like, look, nothing. Fantastic. All right, so I'm going to serve this up for dinner. I'll have the pasta. I think we'll do pasta with it this time. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Who knew? Weight loss could be so deliciously healthy with a roast chook. There you go. It's beautiful. My chicken in a hurry from book one. So thanks for joining me. And if you want any more tips or recipes, you know where to go. Simplytogood.com.au. Simply thanks for joining me for another fabulous Thursday with Annette. Bye now.